flip that over. The foam stayed behind it and the tip kept going. What you doing, AJ? Hi, everyone. If I ever had to explain what I am doing at this stage, I'm just in the middle of... Thinking. Yeah, I'm just thinking. What's this? What's this? You wish you had one. <laughs> well, actually, back in my days, this would have been a godly weapon of choice. This was the original 100-foot shooting peasant killing machine. But in all seriousness, this, this is what we have here, a 1995 circa Nerf crossbow when Kenner originally was producing Nerf blasters back in the old days. When who? Kenner. Let's say, uh, what did they used to make? Tonka trucks, yes. The Tonka trucks that used to kick around and had a lifetime warranty, they also made Nerf blasters. And this is part of the 1995 action line, which had other awesome blasters, such as the Sharpshooter 2, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't really care about. This is this is the only one that really was, uh, that we need to concern ourselves over, because it's a peasant killing serious business. Machine. We had these parts, and this, the idea of this is it's a barrel spacer slash locator. So that'll sit in the barrel screwed from the outside to fix the plunger tube in case, in place. And then this was a reinforcement for the plunger rod area. Yeah, so it's a little bit weak. We don't, it's a pretty ancient shell now. It's about 20 years old. Hey, uh, AJ, AJ, um, before we start, is there any reason it's open at the top? Could it just be a square hole in the middle? No. Because that would make it stronger. Are you going to have a square plunger rod or what? Yeah. Okay. What plunger rod size are you going to use? 10 mil. 10 mil. Yeah, that should be fine. Mm. Yeah, because that'll actually, it'll stop it twisting the plunger rod so you can just carve the catch out on the bottom. Yeah. Cool. So we wanted a 13 mil square hole in the middle. Sorry, that this this piece was... I think it was 36 square. That was, that's not quite right, but I can just put it straight in the center. Mm -hmm. Well, from that's 13. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So 13, 13, 13 is more than 36. Hmm. So it's going to drop downwards by half, one and a half mils. That's actually not too bad. Yeah. All right, so that's a bit better because that means you can screw it in from both sides yeah. and it'll still cut the plunger tube mm -hmm. nicely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So where'd these, original, these pieces come from, that and the spacer? Plans that we found on nerfhaven.com. Yeah. So these were originally from people's write-ups on Nerf Haven, where they cut these out of polycarb usually. Yeah. Yeah, usually made out of polycarb, but mm. we figured, fuck it, 100% infill on PLA. It's but not strong. But I Ryan, 3D printing's weak. I can't talk this broken. I have tried. So that's 100% 100, 100 infill. Fill. And it is solid as fuck. You could bang on that with a hammer, I reckon it would break. <laughs> I think maybe the energy is being absorbed by the table. On the concrete floor. Alright. Yeah. That broke it. Exactly as expected. When the hammer impacted it on the top, because this is a non-filleted corner, you had a stress concentrator right here, which just caused the fracture to go through the material like that. The force inside a crossbow, it's coming from that way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's not even that much, like, come on. If you felt how heavy this thing is, you'd know it's nowhere in comparison to the spring. <sighs> Especially when we print this with the closed up bit there. And I think this is going to be even more so important if we are going to uh, take the crossbow to the 21st century. Never in my mind would I think that we would be doing some serious business with the crossbow. 21st century 3D printing, eat your heart out. You gotta have 3D printed parts, man. Everything needs 3D printed parts. Everything needs 3D printed parts. <laughs> Bark like plungers. So in essence, we are pretty much going to put plus bow internals, Australian materials style, into this modification. That's all there is to it. Let's get started. I've gone ahead and started chopping away and installing them. What we have here is 32 mil security conduit. I know it's a bit messy, but it's, it's more about the performance, not the aesthetic looks at this stage. 
At the end, we've got a 32 mil coupling. This has a 32 mil reducing bush, which then steps it down to 25 mil. And our goal at the moment is to now utilize a 25 mil to 20 mil reducer and 20 mil reducer down to 16 mil. Why is that? We can then start using 16 mil barrels. Mm -hmm. This is going to be as simple as that. What, just as speed loaders? Yeah, because that's 2005 and I think. What's that spring? That's a long one. K26 spring from Eagle Land or whatever those, yeah, those Americans, yeah. America. Should really have Alex in the background screaming, America. <laughs> yeah, I do. America. <laughs> 10 millimeter nylon rod. This started as 10 millimeter thickness nylon sheet and I got a plastic fabric hater to cut it down to 10 mil square. It's a bit rough. Who cares? I've cut the notch already. Three mil poly cup on the end, drilled, tapped in four mil and four screw, machine screw with washer. Nice. So it, it does, it does flex a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't snap. We know what to do when it snaps. We'll just make it five mil thick. For my plunger head, the typical SSY. We're going to use a 25 mil bath plug. Ooh. Wait a minute, it looks like you have all the parts here necessary. How come it's not assembled? Because I stuffed up. <laughs> no, really, I uh, had a moment. I was sort of half drunk and I tried screw uh, doing the drilling for the shell, correlating to the 3D printed pieces and let's just say they were one millimeter too much this way or that way. Yeah, so we're just going to fill it up with some bog. Scoop some here and mix it in. How many holes do I have to fill in? Too many it seems. Blimey Teddy, seriously. Nine holes I gotta fill and redrill. Holes are meant to correspond with the shell holes here. So you drill some holes there and then you tap them. That's right. And we're going to be securing them with M4 screws. Why are you doing that? Because gotta... I don't really want to go down gluing in parts. I want it to be able to unscrew and be modular in, the su in such a way where you can make multiple plunger tubes with different setups. Now, I understand that you can use couplet setups so you can switch out whatever it is you want to at the front of the plunger tube, but I felt that because this blast is gonna be quite powerful, it's probably gonna make the thing fly off when, once, you fire, uh, once you shoot it. So I thought, nah, let's make it so that everything is secured. For now, we are just doing an experimental test type setup where we just wanna use a single couplet setup. Eventually, we'll get to the stage where we'll start putting a chopper, the hybrid of the RSCB and hop so now basically we're going to reassemble the blaster and we'll see if it works and hopefully it fires first higher no like that let's just get the k26 spring in the fun part the bath plugs because everybody loves the bath plugs Hmm. Yeah, tighten it a little bit. Tightening it flanges it more? I have no idea, it just secures it more. This is more of a guess and check thing. And a little bit more. That's airtight. Which side of the shell do I have on first? That's fine. Now I need a spring. <laughs> oh, actually, that is nice. Uh, fire in the hole. Huh? Yep. Yeah, I got it. You got it? And that's on. Alright. Are you excited? Pretty cool. You know how long I've had this shelf for? Four years? 
Will I handle it? AJ broke. What'd you do, AJ? I need some more caffeine. Put the handle on the opposite direction of the seal. Where's the catch? I thought it was a bit strange. Where's the catch? There. <laughs> this is where the catch is right now, the notch, right? Yeah. Which is hitting the catch. Look how much draw there is. Barely any. <laughs> it's like the other way around. Can you get me some coffee, please? It's not really catching, so let's do some troubleshooting, shall we? Alright, gonna get this thing because we've just found out this beast, well, lives up to its name, it... Try and get it to catch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna poo a little in my pants. Uh, no. Yeah. But you can see that it's powerful, but if you can't harness it, there's no point to it. Yeah, the catch might be slipping up out of it, or it's just not deep enough to actually, you know, catch With, yeah, on it. Yeah, it's not deep enough and not square enough to cut into the catch, to cut into the notch of the plunger rod. We're just going to have to go by trial and error. And unfortunately, guys, this is just one of those things for those who are new into modifications. Part of the challenge the is troubleshooting and understanding why things don't work so that you can then rectify the situation from there onwards. Not difficult, don't be lazy. This is really dragged on. I think it's fixed. Square it off a little using the rotary tool. This utility piece here. Just to prove how confident I am. Oh. Nice! Uh, shoot it into... Is that, is that a piece of cardboard there? Yeah, yeah. But Will I shoot through that? Well, get it on camera. No, I just needed a first initial shot actually of me firing it, that's all. And okay. then we'll shoot on camera. I haven't had, fired one of these babies before. Actually, yes I have. I've fired one in South Australia. The inventor guy. Shout out to him. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What the? Uh, what did I just unlock here? Cyan high dart. It's a solid silicone tip. Did you bounce? Maybe. Try an elite. FVJ. I think that was a bit of internal bouncing. Red FVJ. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Purple FVJ. I like that front. It's really nice. It's nice and heavy. The champions. There was something in it. Did you double load that? Yeah, rough figures. Just add an extra 20 feet and you get the Queensland the Rangers. No, 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 that's actually 100. Push it to the limit. Limit! Another fat red. Just keeping in mind we are using 14 inch long barrels. 11 inches. Hmm. This thing's hurting my ear. I didn't actually notice I was pissing the cardboard. So what do you think? We should go 12 inches? Oh. Or do you want to go 13 inches? Light blue FVJ. I think that's a bounce. Purple. That's an elite. Fat red. It's got a really heavy kick mule of a recoil. For a Nerf blaster, oh, I've used real guns before. White FVJ. There we go. 218.6. We'll just make sure that wasn't a flip shot. White FVJ. Holy crap, look at that! Oh. What? <laughs> you wanna try one more fat red one? Over the 210 mark with the right ideal dart fit. Well, what happens when we stick this on? 24 inches. Can you handle it? Purple. That's <laughs> getting <a> higher. <laughs> I was trying to break the hole bigger is better, but this sort of defeated. Oh, hang on, oh, I'm not convinced. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, stand back. I, I'm, I'm, what, we'll do one more. It doesn't make sense. That white FVJ. A 307.8. I don't know what to believe anymore. 230. Jay, you can't keep doing this, mate. You just shot that one. Flip that over. The foam stayed behind it and the tip kept going. What, look, this is unacceptable, mate. You're going to destroy all the darts. Yeah, well, my dart home only contributes to this <laughs> no. destruction. I can't help it. I feel sorry for the bastard. He only just got shot with that, by this thing. Snipper.
the Nerf Crossbow 1995 original action line model. If you do end up finding one at a thrift store, don't even think about it. Just buy it. I don't care how much you have to fork. Just buy it. This is a demon. I, I, that, I, what do I have in my hands? It's... You can't go wrong. You're not Ryan. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, guys. This is another edition of Awesome Weapons That I Make. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is another edition of Awesome Stuff That We Create. Make Test Battle. You know you want to. <laughs> yeah, you want to. Yeah. You know you want to. Just no. education on us. Thanks, no, no, guys. No, no, you know you want to. It's AJ's friends. <laughs> yeah, I like... Take, I like, take I like that any way you want. <laughs> I like the Make Test Battle. You know you want to. Mm. Oh, I guess I got high. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Applied engineering, physics, and stuff. And correction. Deductive reasoning. Um, empirical testing. Here's fine. Um, your head. <laughs> you're so, you're, your head's out of shot, dude. You, you look bald. <laughs> you got this cutting right here, so it looks like you. Yeah, I'm definitely not the right skin color, but who cares? <laughs> we don't discriminate. <laughs> what?